Man, you guys, I don't know what to think of this. Okay, we have Incognito Morning Star. So the Morning Star is Incognito. Who is the Morning Star? Let's take a closer look at this Morning Star. This one-eyed monocle cow. I mean, there, we wouldn't be looking at anything like a Monopoly game, right? Like, this game is nothing new to me. It's like the hotels and their charcuteries. Right, right. Remember that cipher I made? Um, so this fits the, the, the bill. Trick your taste buds with 100% plant-based protein that looks, cooks, and tastes like meat. You know, a lot of things taste like meat these days. Um, now let's talk about the name. I, I can't help but wonder with the name Morning Star. I'm sure you guys have uh, at least had this name ring a bell. Who is the Morning Star? Maybe you're not familiar with the term Morning Star, or maybe it rings a bell, or maybe you know that place he comes from, that place called, well, guess what rhymes with it. So, who is this? Well, think Isaiah 14, 12. How have you fallen from heaven, Morning Star, son of the dawn? You have been cast down to earth. Does that ring a bell? Light bringer? So Lucifer and Morning Star and Light Bearer mean several different things. Also means the planet Venus, which is considered an inferior planet, which means that its orbit lies between both the Earth and the Sun. And then depending on the location of both Venus and Earth, it can be seen in the eastern morning sky for about an hour or so before the Sun rises and dims. And then in the western evening, it could be seen again for about an hour or so as the sun sets, when Venus itself then sets. And Venus is the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon, and it outshines both Jupiter and Saturn. But while the, while the rise is high in the sky, Venus never does. This may lie behind the myth about deities associated with the morning star, proudly striving for the highest place among the gods and then being cast down. You remember that story, how he fell like lightning. Let's go back incognito. Let's take, what, what do we know about this company? Well, Morning Star Farms was introduced by Worthington Foods, which was a division of Miles Laboratory. So what was Miles Laboratory? It was founded by Dr. Miles Medical Company in Elkhart, Indiana. Interesting, because it was a specialist for the treatment of eye and ear disorders with an interest in the connection between the nervous system and overall health. And Miles operated as an independent firm from 1884 until 1978 and um, as a wholly owned subsidi si <laughs> subsidiary of Bayer AG from 79 to 95 when it was consolidated into its um, other parent corporation. Um, so I find that interesting. I find it interesting that this medical laboratory is participating in this incognito. I mean, I, I guess I could... Uh, see it with one eye closed or one eye open. I guess it depends how you want to look at it. <laughs> oh, fuck. And just to add a little side note in here, Kellogg's purchased Worthington Foods from Bear AG's North American division back in October of 1999. Always that 9-11 or 101 999 101 what like a point within a circle and a 666 and we just aren't supposed to see this so they actually had um purchased the company for 307 million dollars at that point and then kellogg sold um worthington in 2014 but it decided to keep the morning star line of its products 
And then in 21, Kellogg's announced that they were actually going to be spending another $43 million to expand their Ohio location. So you guys, it looks like the Morningstar is making the rounds. Incognito.